Good morning. So, um, I'm going to keep this brief. Uh, I actually have to get a move on. But I wanted to say good morning to everyone. Um, I hope you all are safely and joyfully arriving at this Friday, um, this Friday morning. I know I am. I'm ready for the weekend. Um, I'm very happy with how my week went. Um, there were plenty of learning lessons, but there were uh, plenty of reasons to be excited and happy and thankful and grateful. Um, so I just wanted to check in very quickly to um, just drop something in you guys' spirit. And that is that your family is not necessarily your tribe. Um, I look at family as though they are your first introduction to the world. Um, they're there to uh, really shape you, to groom you, to kind of give you those basic, uh, the basic foundation that you need. But that doesn't necessarily mean that your family is meant to take you where you're going to go. So um, I've been speaking with a lot of people lately who are dealing with family dynamics, especially millennials who are like 25 and up, um, I'll say even 27 and up who are really starting to um, come into their own to figure out what they want and don't want for their lives um, and starting to look more critically and analytically at um, their family dynamics. And um, for many, the roles are changing. You know, the child is, in a sense, becoming the parent and, you know, um, giving the parent advice and telling the parent, like, wait, what are you doing? Those kind of things. Um, but there's also a lot of millennials who are doing things so drastically different in terms of career, um, career choices, uh, college, that kind of stuff. They're doing it so differently from their parents' generation. Um, and so there's almost this disconnect with how far the parent can take the child in a sense um and so i just wanted to for those who are experiencing those kind of things within their family dynamic where you're feeling like in a sense you're almost outgrowing them or you know you're wondering if you're from another planet <laughs> or you're wondering um or if you're just feeling like you're being you know misunderstood or like they just they're just not getting you um i know that can be frustrating at times i know um it can probably definitely really make you feel alone in life um, but that, that's not a bad thing. It's what's happening at its core is not a bad thing. Um, the truth of the matter is your family may not necessarily be your tribe. Okay. Um, so there's this concept of when you're born, um, you have to go out into the world to find your tribe, to find those people who think like you, um, who can see the vision that you see, who um, ha has been either where you are or where you're trying to get to. Um, so your tribe, in a sense, is, is just your support system um, that is going to be with you as you evolve uh, over time. And so that is not always your family. And that is okay. That doesn't mean that um, you have to be angry with your family. That doesn't mean that you have to scoff at them or be uncomfortable or have negative energy every time that you're around them. It just means that there is a tribe out there that you have to find and your family has given you as much as they can. Um, and it's for you to take everything that they've given you and make something good come from it. Even if it was negative experiences, traumatizing experiences, um, that is your family for a reason. There was something that you were supposed to impart within that family unit and there was something that family unit was supposed to impart in you. Um, so instead of feeling negativity or anger or um, just feeling like you're constantly hitting a brick wall, so to speak, uh, look at it or, you know, just take a moment, try to look at it from a different perspective. Think about what you learn from them, what you can take from them and um, carry with you out into the world for the better. Uh, betterment not just of the world but of yourself so just a little encouragement for those who are dealing with those family dynamic issues um or who just kind of feel that friction and you're not sure why that definitely could be a reason um but don't let that stop you from where you're headed don't let that stop you um from what you want in life and don't be discouraged don't feel like because your family doesn't support you why would the world oftentimes when your family or you know your hometown isn't supporting you the world will You'd be surprised uh, who will step forward and identify with your story or identify with your vision. Um, so don't be tainted by what's happening in your family dynamics. Um, it's probably when you, when you feel like you're being buried, uh, T.D. Jake said it one time, you're not being buried, you're being planted. So just keep that in mind 
take that positivity, that negativity, and turn it into uh, some positivity. Always be able to bring a smile to your own face. Don't, don't give someone else that power or that responsibility. That is your power. That is your responsibility to bring yourself back from the edge, um, to bring yourself back from a negative space and get your spirit right. And you are able to do that. You are capable of doing that. I believe that. I believe in you. And um, I really hope that this day is a blessed one for you. And um, I'm about to get out of here. I got stuff to do. I'm going to the Youth Build Philly graduation. And then after that, I'm hopping on a train and I'm going to New York to celebrate my good, good friend, um, Melanie Yvette Martin, her birthday. Melanie uh, is the founder of beautifullybrown.com. So definitely check that out if you're a woman of color. Um, she is all about you. So be sure to check that out. But in the meantime, it was great talking to you guys. And um, I'll try to check in later. I don't know, maybe tonight when we're out and about in, on a town in New York. But um, yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day. Now, if I could...